Hello, welcome to a new video of Appelbaum.com. My name is Joost Appelbaum and I would like to tell something in this video about the Opus 88 Fantasia Fountain Pen. As always, if this video helps you, leave us a like. And if you're interested in this fine writing instrument, visit our store in Lara or order it online in our web store at Appelbaum.com. We will talk later about the box the pen comes in, the features of the pen, the filling mechanism and the nib. At the end we will also do a little comparison and give you some specs. But first we start with the history of the pen and where the name comes from. Opus 88 is a Taiwanese company and the name Opus was chosen because the company tries to tell the pen enthusiasts that they are good in using different materials to create pens. The number 88 is a reference to the year the company was founded. For over 45 years Opus 88 was a manufacturing for other brands. They created the most outstanding writing instrument for famous fashion and pen brands. And since 2016 the owner Michael Hatsu decided he was able to do it better and created his own writing instruments collection. The Fantasia pen was one of the first models Opus 88 created under their own name. After the Fantasia, the Picnic, a demonstrator pen and the Omar followed quickly. The Fantasia is a pocket eyedropper filled fountain pen with a piston operated shut off valve. But more about that later in the video. It took quite some time for the Fantasia to develop because it had to be a pocket fountain pen with an eyedropper filling mechanism and must be able to post. But eventually Opus 88 did a great job with this pen. The Opus 88 Fantasia pen comes in a black cardboard box which has a leather lookalike print on it. On the right top side of the box the logo of Opus 88 is embossed. While on the left side you can find the founding year. The front of the box lid has a magnetic closing system. When you open the box, the pen lays in a foam inlay to prevent that the pen can get any scratches or can move around in the box. Also the glass eyedropper and a small booklet with information about Opus 88 is inside the box. The Opus 88 Fantasia is made of a combination of resin and ebonite. The barrel is semi translucent so you can see the filling mechanism and the ink level inside. While the cap is made of ebonite with a few colorful stripes on it for visual appealing, also the piston up is made of ebonite. The ebonite part feels a little bit rougher and it also smells different, but that is hard to show you in this video. The metal parts of the pen like the clip and the piston up ring are silver colored. The Opus 88 Fantasia collection is offered in 5 different color combinations. I'm not sure if these are the 5 colors that we will have to deal with or that in the future there will become more colors available but for now the colors in the collection are the following. We have a black one with green, yellow and red stripes. The blue version has also green, yellow and red stripes but also light blue and orange stripes on the cap divided by black parts. The red version has stripes in pink, green, orange and black. The fourth edition is brown with green, yellow, red and orange stripes. While the last version, which is my personal favorite, has a yellow orange barrel and a cap in green. On the green cap you can find stripes in blue, red, orange and black. Also the blind cap is in green with this version. The pen has flattened ends, like the famous Diofold model of Parker. The ends are so flat that it can stand on itself. The cap top is made like a screwdriver to operate the blind cap, but more about it later in the video. The metal cap top is engraved with the text Opus 88 and Fantasia. Please note that the screwdriver mechanism lay into the cap top. You do not notice it if you look from the side of the pen. The pen has a simple clip and it is incredibly strong. Please be careful with using this clip, it might bend or deformate when using it. The sides of the clip have a rib pattern, which is a nice touch. The cap twists off with two and a half turns and it reveals a very very small grip section. 
The grip section is made of the same resin as the rest of the pen. The step down to the grip section from the barrel isn't that large, but the threads of the cap are quite sharp, so it is not very comfortable to hold the pen near the threads. Since the grip section is so small, you really need to find a way to hold the pen properly. It is not recommended to write long sessions with this pen, but then again, it is designed like a pocket pen and probably with a mind for only making small notes. The last cool feature of this design is the threads at the end of the barrel. This makes it more secure to twist the cap at the end of the pen. What I think is an important design detail is that the clip and the nib are aligned perfectly when posted. The Opus 88 Fantasia has a silver colored stainless steel number no. 5 sized Yowo nib with the name of Opus 88 engraved on it. Below the name engraving of Opus 88 you can find the nib white. The nib is finely engraved with some nice adornments. The most interesting part of the Fantasia pen is the eyedropper filling mechanism. Because of this filling mechanism the pocket pen has an ink capacity of 2 ml which is very large. For references a standard international ink cartridge just only takes 0.77 milliliters. So the fast mathematics probably already calculated that the Obus 88 Fantasia takes two and a half times more ink compared to a standard international ink cartridge. Wow, that's really impressive. How does this eyedropper system work? Well, actually, it is quite easy. First, you unscrew the grip section of the barrel. You notice the o-ring on the grip section which prevents the ink from leaking once the section is screwed back together. After that you unscrew the knob on the end of the barrel of the pen. You can use the metal cap top as a screwdriver into the two centered cross grooves at the blind cap. After you unscrew the piston knob you pull the ebonite piston so it allows you to fill the barrel with ink using the included glass eyedropper. After that you screw the section back on the barrel of the pen and slide the ebonite piston back in the barrel of the pen and screw the knob back in. The end of the ebonite piston has a rubber gasket which seals the feed off from the barrel when fully depressed. Which reduces the risk of leaking and burping. By unscrewing the piston up and loosening the rod at the rear of the barrel you open up the ink flow to the feet. Leave the shutter valve open during the writing sessions to take advantage of the impressive ink capacity and get the weather line. This eyedropper filling mechanism can normally be found on more expensive and exclusive models. Actually this is one of the most affordable models I know using this particular system. The Opus 88 Fantasia has a total weight of only 20 grams. The weight is perfectly divided over the barrel and the cap, both weigh 10 grams. The pocket pen is an absolute lightweight, but that is also not that strange for its size and the materials used. Here you find the comparison with some pens with a comparable size. From left to right you see the Opus 88 Demonstrator, the Opus 88 Picnic, the Opus 88 Coloro, the Opus 88 Fantasia, the Caveco Sport, the Caveco Lilliput and the Pelican M205. Here you see the pens uncapped. And here you see the pens posted. This was our overview of the Opus 88 Fantasia collection. If you're interested in the beautiful Opus 88 Fantasia after watching this video, you're welcome to make your purchase in our web store. Let us know about your experience with this pen and share your thoughts and special moments using an Opus 88 in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.